You've heard me talk about my core values all the time on my channel. Helpful, kind, positive, and realistic. I've made probably over 600 videos and there are other videos that never come to fruition just because I can't make them check those boxes. And sometimes there's just not enough information on a specific topic to make a whole video about that one thing. And that happens to me all the time with favorites, with different things that I wanna share with you guys, different products or different services, different you know books or movies or songs. I'm thinking, man, I'd really like to share that with my audience, but it doesn't really fit into a single video. So I have compiled all of those things that I am loving right now that I would really like to share with you guys. And I've put them all here in this video. I have shown you many grocery hauls and meal plans from Walmart and favorite grocery purchases over the years, but I'm heading in here to pick up a few things and I thought I'd share with you some things that don't really fall into the grocery category, but that I'm really liking right now. I have been absolutely loving these tank tops in the juniors section at Walmart. They're in the junior section. Yes, I know that I am not a junior. I get a double XL. I wear a size 10, 12, 14, large, extra large. I'm a pretty busty gal and the double XL is really great for me. And the thing that I love love about these is that they are high neck so no cleavage and they're also ribbed and very thick so you cannot see through these and even though I wear these like underneath little short sleeve blouses and stuff like that if you have the right kind of bra like maybe a racer back bra you wouldn't be able to see through it because these shirts are really thick I wish they had a few more color selections I'm not really into kind of the more neon colored selections that they have in that tank top but I have a white a black and a tan I really feel like Walmart stepped up their game with the swimsuits, at least for the girls this year. So many different cute swimsuits in various styles. In fact, we picked one up for McKenna here. This is the one that she got and it is absolutely adorable. She has to have a one piece for camp, but they have lots of other styles, including two pieces and styles that have sleeves, styles that have swim covers, you know, sun, what are they called? Rash guards to prevent the sunburns. And they're very affordable. At first when we came to look here, we thought they were all Justice branded, but they do have a huge selection, at least at my Walmart in the Wonder Nation. So really affordable swimsuits. And for my kids to grow out of them in a single season, like this is what I like to pick up. I normally wear foundation that is somewhere in like the $50 range. When I'm wearing makeup, you know, I wear IT or Lancome or MAC and I'm willing to make the investment because it's something that I use pretty gradually and just because I want something really good. But I kept seeing this ELF Halo Glow liquid filter talked about over and over again on social media and I balked at it so many times, but I picked one up a few weeks back, probably about a month back. and I've been using it. I'm actually wearing some of it today. And I gotta say, it does not disappoint. And the price point, 14 bucks, it was worth me finding out if it is as good as everybody says it is. I don't think it's quite as good as some of my more expensive ones, but especially just for day-to-day -day wear. Now, I do not have sensitive skin, and I also wear moisturizers and sunscreen underneath my foundation, so I guess I can't really attest to how good it is as far as skincare goes, but as far as coverage goes and the way it makes my skin look and even glow, especially on camera, I am very pleased with that $14 investment. So, I don't know, chime in if you've tried it. Let me know what you think. If you are a fan of the sparkling ice drinks, you probably already know that Walmart has a dupe and it's called Clear American. I feel like that is a throwback to the 90s with Clearly Canadian, but the flavor that I absolutely love that I cannot find in like any other brand of soda is called Huckleberry. I don't know why, but this tastes like a tart, like a sweet tart. This tastes like a liquefied sweet tart to me. It's only five calories for a bottle, so it's like a diet soda. So if you have not tried the Huckleberry flavor of the Clear American sparkling drink, highly recommend. Just to clarify, this is more like a diet Sprite or a diet 7-Up style drink, like a diet soda, not like a sparkling water type drink. So if you're into the like lightly flavored things, might not be for you. It can be really hard to find games that are fun to play for just two players, but this right here, in my opinion, is one of the best. You can also play it with three players, or you can play it with four players in teams of two, two teams of two. I find this to be really fun. We get it out a lot in the summer, especially with my younger son who just wants somebody to play a game with them. It's quick. It doesn't take very long to play. It's not hard to learn. It's kind of like tic-tac-toe meets, I don't know, like a, not, not like a gin. It's like a card version of tic-tac-toe, but super fun if you haven't tried it. It's only 15 bucks at my Walmart. I'll also add that that game is fun for adults, at least in my opinion. I actually like playing that game. It's one of my favorites to play, so don't think of it as like, a little kitty game. It's something that I think younger children, our son could play it when he was six or seven years old, can play, but also one that I think adults enjoy. And like I said, a really great two-player game. 
I am really digging this custom t-shirt that I ordered from an Etsy shop. I'll see if I can find that shop and leave it linked in the description box below. I'll go back through my receipts and find it. But it is a custom embroidery shop, so I could pick out the initials. I could pick out the color of the t-shirt, the font, and the color of the initials that are on it, the style of it. And I'm just really, really pleased with it and tempted to order another one. Another recent online purchase favorite is my Better World book order. I've mentioned Better World books before. They are an online used book retailer. You can go on their website and peruse the titles that they have available and you can get some really great deals on gently used books that they will then deliver to your door. My last Better World book order was primarily titles for my kids to choose from for their summer reads. They have a specific reading list at their school and I actually found it difficult to find some of these titles at the library. I think my total though was around 70 bucks shipped for 14 or 15 different books. Since I have two kids that are reading from the same list, these will come in handy for a couple of years and then we'll be able to pass them along to somebody else who can use them. I mentioned in my summer vlog from a few weeks back some of the titles that I'm reading, including some of the required reads for my kids that I just haven't read in several years and I wanted to be able to discuss those with them. But another one that I'm picking up that I'm super excited about is the new John Mark Comer book, Practicing the Way. I have read so many of his books, Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, God Has an name, several others that I can't think of off the top of my head, and I have always liked all of them. I love the way that he writes. It's very conversational. So that's one that I'm hoping becomes a favorite very soon. When it comes to reading for pleasure, I am just not into the serious fiction anymore. I tend to want just a lighthearted story that's entertaining, like a comedy or a romance, though not the steamy kind. I'm not really into the steamy romance scene. Or maybe a really interesting or intriguing mystery, but not too gritty or gory. <laughs> I'm generally looking for something that's going to entertain me without making me think too hard <laughs> and that will have a decent ending that isn't going to haunt me. And I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I have stumbled upon this genre the last couple of years and I keep coming back to it, but you probably already knew there's an entire genre devoted to retellings of the Pride and Prejudice story. And I always knew that there were some retellings out there, but I think the digital book market has really revved that up. Some of them are are pretty good and some of them are pretty terrible. But I think one of the reasons that I like them is because it takes existing characters and situations that I'm familiar with and it just puts a little bit of a twist into the situation so that we have to think about how the story will turn out if just one or two facets of the original are changed. For instance, what if Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy are compromised at the Netherfield Ball? Oh. <laughs> or what if Mr. Darcy is a spy for the crown? <laughs> Or what if Mr. Bennett dies early on in the book? Like how would that change the way that the story unfolds? And just like with other books I enjoy, I kind of stay away from the ones that are a little bit more explicit in the romance department. I kind of go for the comedies or there are some that are like dramas or suspenseful or murder mysteries. And I've also discovered that some of them are on YouTube as audiobooks. A couple of channels that I have discovered that have those Pride and Prejudice retellings that you can listen to for free are Jennifer Joy and J. Don King. Those are probably my two favorites. I'll leave them linked in the description box below. And as I stated, these are just for fun. They may be a little cheesy. They're kind of like the Hallmark version of Pride and Prejudice or maybe the Murder, She Wrote version <laughs> occasionally. But I have enough reality in my life, I feel like. So having something that I can listen to or read that's just sort of an escape for fun, that's kind of where it's at for me in the reading for pleasure category. My husband and I were just talking about how much we are loving the little summer routine that we have set up in our household. I talked about that in a recent video. Just some of the things that we're doing to add just a little bit of structure to our summer days. We still have plenty of time for rest and for fun in the summer, but having a few things we can all check off a list each day to add just a loose routine, just a relaxed routine to our day has seriously helped. I am a person who struggles in the summertime. I usually end up being frazzled, being exhausted, being frustrated by the end of it, and I can tell tell that the things that we are doing are really helping keep that at bay. So if you are a person like me who struggles a little bit in the summertime, maybe check out this video that I made about that after you watch this one. If you want some 
ideas or inspiration. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes it doesn't matter how many gadgets and gizmos and products and books and routines and strategies and systems that you have in place. Sometimes what you need if you're struggling is an actual person to talk to who can help you. BetterHelp can connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and offer helpful unbiased advice. To get started, you go to their website and you take a little quiz and this helps them assess what it is you're looking for in a therapist so that they can try to match you with just the right one, usually within 48 hours so you can get started quickly. And what makes BetterHelp so accessible is that you can do it all online, not just getting started, but also setting up your appointments as well because you can conduct them via video chat, phone call, or even messaging. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that can make starting therapy less intimidating. It can make getting therapy more accessible to more people and make available a broader range of therapists so that people can find just the right one for their needs. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Just go to betterhelp.com slash cmindymom or choose see Mindy Mom when you sign up to enjoy a special discount on your first month. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I know I'm probably late to the party on the Gooseneck Electric Kettles, but this one from Willow and Everett is so fantastic. My family got it along with some other things for pour over coffee, but I have found lots of uses for this. For heating up water, for broth, for cooking, for making you know, oatmeal packets or little packets of grits without having to fire up my stove, being able to heat up water super duper fast. I just find this thing to be very handy. Turtle crackers are a great dupe of the goldfish crackers. These are the standard but these right here the extra cheddar take it over the top I'm telling you these are fantastic dare I say even better than the original I cannot get enough of these protein bars right here the functional protein bar and the Elevation brand from Aldi in the golden vanilla cream flavor the cookies and cream one are are pretty good these are okay but these I'm telling you I've not had a protein bar like it it's not super crunchy but it's like kind of kind of halfway between chewy and crispy in the flavor it's not overly sweet it even has just a little bit of like a butter cookie flavor to it I'm telling you new favorite if you are looking for low calorie heat meat options these are probably one of my all-time favorites I don't see them all year round at Aldi so if you see them and you're looking to try them, you should probably grab them. This one right here, the Mexican street style, Mexican style street corn is my favorite. This tzatziki dip, the spinach parmesan, parmesan tzatziki, yum. These pre-seasoned pork shoulders are a favorite. I don't have to do anything but drop them into the slow cooker and let them cook all day and then shred them up and we can use them in so many different ways. Hold on to your hats, millennials, because crew socks are back in style. If you are a zennial like me between Gen X and millennial, you might be struggling with putting those ankle socks back on the rack, but I'm being told that crew socks are not only permissible, they're like stylish now. People can know we're wearing socks. We've made socks visible again. It's okay for people to know that we have socks on with their shoes. I am here for it. Since See Mindy Mom is turning six years old this month, I thought it would be fun to share with you my all-time favorite six ingredient recipe, the spicy ramen that I have made so many times on this channel from ground beef, ramen noodles, a little bit of soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic ginger sauce, and I like to throw in broccoli or some other kind of vegetable as the sixth ingredient. This is such a super easy recipe. I will track down a video where I gave you a step-by-step -step and leave it linked in the description box below. My favorite six ingredient dessert recipe are the cupcakes that I've made for you guys several times. It is a go-to cupcake recipe. I've been making these for over a decade. It's just six ingredients, a box of cake mix, a box of instant jello pudding, four eggs, one cup of oil, half a cup of milk, and one eight ounce container or one cup of sour cream. They make the most delicious moist cupcakes. You can change up the flavors according to the box mix and the pudding mix that you use. And then of course you can just maybe dust them with a little powdered sugar or you can frost them however you want. Usually I just buy icing from the bakery at my grocery store. This hand cream with the fancy French name that I can't pronounce is a big favorite of mine. L'Occitane. L'Occitane. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. This was a Christmas gift from my mom because I would always use hers when I went to her house and just rave about how much I liked it. It is pretty pricey, but I've had this for six months now. And one of the great things about it is that a little bit goes a long way. And I sometimes put it on multiple times a day. So 
there you go. I'll see if I can find a link to it and leave it in the description box below. I almost didn't want to share this next thing with you because I feel like we have really been racking up the random kitchen gadgets lately. I shared with you guys in a recent video, the Ninja Creamy. As a Mother's Day gift, my family got me a really neat new coffee setup for pour over coffee. My husband has been trying to drink more water and he's been getting really into like the sparkling waters. He really likes Topo Chico and like sparkling mineral waters. And he asked for a soda stream for Father's Day. I didn't get in the soda stream though. <laughs> After a lot of research on this topic, I ended up going with the sparkle. Unlike the soda stream, which uses CO2 canisters to carbonate the water, the sparkle uses a combination of citric acid and baking soda. So besides not requiring CO2 canisters, some of the other positives that I read were, first of all, that you could carbonate just about any beverage you want. Unlike the soda stream where you had to wait to add flavorings until after the water had been carbonated. Also with the sparkle, you can control the amount of carbonation. Three is sort of the standard, but you could choose one or two as the carbonation setting, which would be less carbonated or four or five, which would be more carbonated. This is just a water and a drink flavoring that I carbonated just now. And you press this little button and it will release some of the pressure inside. So you can actually hear it and see it fizzing. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think that's so incredible. The baking soda and citric acid doesn't actually go into the drink that you're making, it's just used to create the gas that carbonates the drink. There's a reservoir for water in the back and it somehow interacts with the carbonators that you put in the machine to create the CO2 that's pumped into the liquid and then the citric acid and baking soda and the water that's used in that process is deposited in here and you just empty this out every so often. It usually takes several runs of the machine before you need to empty that or refill the reservoir for the water. Now, so far, while we have been learning to use the machine, we've just been using the little carbonator sachets that the company sells to go along with it. But I have been reading from other users of the Sparkle that they just buy citric acid and baking soda in bulk for super cheap. And they use, I think, two teaspoons of each. And that brings down the cost of carbonating a bottle of water or juice or whatever significantly. So I'm not sure if anybody's really interested in that. It definitely is a luxury item, not a kitchen essential by any stretch of the imagination but I think it made a really good Father's Day gift. It's gotten use every single day. My husband usually uses it a couple times a day, so, you know. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out one of these videos next, and I'll see you there.